Hi, church family. So here's some hope for Monday. We learned in our services yesterday that there is tremendous value in taking in the Word of God. And so when I read Hebrews chapter 4, 11 through 13 for us yesterday, um, my mind just goes to Psalm 119 because every verse in Psalm 119 deals with the value of God's Word. And here is just a taste of God's word in Psalm 119. Psalm 119, 99 and 100. I have more understanding than all my teachers for your testimonies are my meditation. And then it says, I have more understanding than the aged for I keep your precepts. So the Word of God taken into my life gives me understanding that exceeds my teachers and exceeds um, folks with experience and age and time. Um, I have understanding and wisdom and insight that the Word of God gives me that helps me through all of these situations where I find myself today. So take in the Word of God, love the Word of God, read the Word of God, let your mind see the Word of God, and then see through the Word of God to interpret the world. Let your uh, ears hear the Word of God, and then let the Word of God be the filter through which your words come from your heart, out of your mouth, to those who listen. And we will be wise as teachers. We will be wise as those with decades of experiences. Why? Because the Word of God is alive. Your Bible lives. Take it up and read it. Read it, heed it, hear it. Your Bible, God's Word. Heavenly Father, thank you so much. We love you. You feed us. Your word makes us wise. Wise for life. Wise for relationships. Wise for the challenges of this day. And wise for how to handle the successes that you will grant. God, we love you. We thank you. We praise you. Help us read the word, heed the word, and live the word in your name. Amen.